Hello and welcome. On this tutorial, we will learn how to push our code from local repository from our computer to remote repository. In our case, it will be GitHub. We in our working folder. Get status. All good. Everything committed. Uh, all good. Okay, let's go to the GitHub and create remote repository. Basically, we will create empty remote repository. And after it, we will push all our code here to this remote repository. So let's log into our GitHub account. Okay, I'm here. Create your first project. Create repository. Repository name, say demo one. My first remote repo. You want to make it public so anyone in internet will be able to see your code and download it or you can create it private. Let's create it private so we'll learn a little bit more. And I don't want to add any files. I want to make this repository completely clean. No any files, no dot .ignore, you see it can generate readme, it also can uh, create a license file. I don't want nothing. I want just empty, empty repository, basically like, you know, folder remote folder to where I want to push my local code. So let's create this. All right, we have it. This is a URL for our repository. If you want to create new repository from the command line, basically telling you, okay, so you see, this is what we learned previously. Echo some text into the some file, git init, git add, git commit, some in some in another command. We have our own repository already. We worked locally and we just need to push it. And here you see it's telling you what you really need to do. Push existing repository from the command line. So what we need to do, what this command will tell, it, this command will tell to git that your remote repository is located on this URL. And we don't need this command and we don't need this command, we just need this one and we will use little something different on our CLI. So let's go. I'm here. Let me execute some command called git remote dash v. Git, git remote dash v, sh dash v should show you what is configured as remote repository for your local repository. Nothing. So let's execute the command we just copied. Git remote add. And let's execute git remote in dash minus v. You see, we configured it. So what we can do right now is push our local code into the remote repository. So let's uh, do it. Git push. This is a command to push local repository to remote repository. But because on our GitHub remote repository, we don't have any branch. So basically GitHub don't know how did, how did we call the golden branch? Is it the master or main? It will give us uh, some message right now. Again, hint what we need to do. So you see, current branch main has no upstream branch. Basically on the remote, it's already checked. There's no uh, br a branch called main. So in order to push the current branch and set the remote as upstream use, just copy paste this command, that's all. And now we need to log in to our GitHub from here. So what was a username? It's adv-devops and the password and we got this error support for password authentication was removed a long time ago so why did it, it, it didn't work how we can log in just it, everything easy we need to use our username but for the password we shall not use our password of this user we just need to, to generate token instead of the password they just need to write here token use token token this is your password how to generate token very easy let's go to the github click on your username settings i will open the like new tab new tab scroll to the bottom you see developer settings and here personal access tokens there's two tokens the classic and some new fine grained tokens let's use token one the, the old one generate new token classic one i will tell it uh, demo token demo token expiration you can set up i will put it uh, like no expiration and the scope which access this token will have uh, i will give it only the repo repositories because it's, you, you can also give access to workflow write delete admins but packages but basically a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of other stuff yeah i'm doing some very, very simple stuff just repo that's all so generate and it will give you the password this is your password basically see 
this is your password just copy copy it it's kind of password so we can uh, close this one close this one and let's give it a try once more username our username is adv dash devops enter and password password is not password which which we use to create account it's just token which we just generated so i will paste it here enter and that's all it's pushed now we by the way can uh, just push that's all just git push but it will, will always you see every time every time it will ask you for the password uh, and you don't like it i think yeah so basically everything is up to date no need to be done nothing let's check i'm here just i will refresh it and we shall see our, our files here you see okay our repository here nice git ignore and our three files nice and we can by the way click you see on the comment here uh, or here is a hash of the commit and we'll see the difference what was uh, done so here see we added file nice uh, let me show you something else updated something so just click on this you see it's showing exactly what was changed so here it's showing that a dot was changed and here by me was added and here file number three this is what they uh, added we can click here split on the left side it will show the previous version or right of the uh, new version and that's all let's make some changes add uh, some file so you will see how it looks like here let's go here let's okay what do we have here let's edit file number uh, let's say two for demo purpose on github hello world something like this let's create another file with some message echo hello world to file my hello.py it's kind of a python file kind of <laughs> so this is what we have git status just to see what's happening okay this is the changes git add everything git status again okay this is what i'm going to do git commit message uh new changes yeah these changes and just git push it yeah git commit i created lo local copy git push it so it will be on remote in case my laptop will go die i'm okay it's i have it on remote repository as you see but a eh, always 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 i need to enter this always i think you don't like it yeah oops i did I past, past pasted it adv dash devops and right click you don't like this uh, i also don't like this all the way enter i will on the next tutorial i will show you how we can remove this username and password uh, asks every time we will use ssh key instead of all these tokens and uh, usernames and it will automatically will authenticate you don't need to do nothing basically you set it up, set it up once working forever just short recap what we did our developers executing command git commit it creating copy in local repository in their laptop after that they execute git push it's creating copy in remote repository in github and the command which we use today git remote add origin with https uh, repo path git remove dash v to show what what is configured uh, as remote repository git status git add git commit and git push okay I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next lecture. Very useful lecture. We will get rid from this asking of username and token.